If you are single, looking for a romance, looking for a loving relationship, looking for a time pass, let's find out who is coming towards you. And what do they have to offer? Who is coming towards you? Hmm. I really feel like, you know, right now is the time for you to have a reflection upon what do you want? What do you desire in your love life before you could meet the one? Because maybe the kind of people that you have been with, um, you know, you need to know why they came in your life. Try to reflect upon that. Try to reflect upon like, you know, um, what made you accept the offers that you received in the past especially the recent past, because there is something that you need to reflect upon and decide when it comes to your next lover. You know, what is it that you're looking for in love? What is it that you're going to settle in for? What is it that you are kind of like, you know, signing up for? You have to have a clear picture around it. And that's why I really feel like, you know, before you could have the new partner in your life, divine is going to put you through this phase um, where you are going to be alone for some time. So you could reflect and decide for yourself what is it that you're looking for be clear on that is it a time pass is it a you know relationship that you can call your boyfriend girlfriend or is it like husband or wife material is what you are looking for in a relationship just know for yourself what is it that you desire and then you will have that you know person coming through so we do have the child i really feel like you know um for some of you um, I really see that your next partner is going to be very childish. It's going to be like somebody who's going to bring a lot of fun in your life. I feel for some of you, your life might have become so uh, so serious or so, um, you know, um, boring or dull or aloof that Divine is going to send you someone who's going to be more like a companion, somebody who's going to share all and everything with you. And that's like, you know, the kind of connection that you probably are going to be happy with. Maybe right now you are asking for somebody who is mature, who is like so and so. And then divine really knows that you want somebody who can be both, who has this childish side to them so they can bring fun and laughter in your life, which maybe is missing right now in your life. So I really feel like, you know, there is like, you know, if you could look within, maybe that's the kind of people that you get happy with. So maybe your ex was not that. Your ex was a serious person who you, or she was like somebody who was like really, really, uh, you know, um, practical and all those things. But you never felt happy with that person. So I really feel like, you know, when you reflect upon all the decisions and all what you came, uh, you know, all what you got after, you know, being in relationships with people in the past, you got to figure out that there is something like, you know, you need to know that you are looking for a person who can bring you joy, happiness, abundance, and stability. And that's exactly what I see your next lover is going to bring you. Let's see what else can you get to know about it. Community. I feel like, you know, for some of you, this person could be either... Um, I really feel like you're going to build community with this person. Maybe they are not going to be from the same community as you. Maybe they are going to be from a different community and you're going to get to know someone who is like, you know, maybe is a big no for you right now. Maybe you're like not in into, you know, marrying someone or dating someone who is from a different community, caste, culture, religion, uh, country. But this person is going to be somebody different and you are going to be surprised to see like how beautifully that you the two of you have clicked. So I really see that your next partner is going to be somebody like that. And um it's it's um it feels like you know um you are going to be very happy to meet this person they would feel like from a different background completely and you never thought like maybe it was like a big big no for you that oh no i'm not going to marry someone who is like living in, in this country city or whatever but then when you meet this person and you get to know this person you're going to click with them you know, and you would have a very solid kind of connection with this person. For some of you, you could be dealing with the same sex situation as well. But whatever the case is, um, you are going to find your happiness and peace with this person. And you're going to be surprised to see how beautifully this person has brought colors back in your life. And that is going to be like the way, um, that is going to be the thing which is going to bind the two of you together for real so i really see your next lover is going to be somebody who's gonna be um you know bringing you out of some sadness is what i see here for majority of you maybe you're really upset maybe you're really 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 
um, not happy with the kind of choices that you have made in the recent times around your love life or maybe you have wasted years of your life for a specific someone and now you feel bad and you're sad and you're upset and you're lonely and you know then this person comes in and they bring joy back in your life happiness back in your life so that's something which i see coming through for you wow here is your prince charming Ta -da! so this is exactly what i see here this person is going to have a very um young energy to them regardless of their age they are going to be like adding so much fun in your life that you would be like initially probably gonna be like i don't know if i like this person or not but then you're gonna feel like oh my god like you know they have brought you back to life like you know you you might have felt your emotions got rusted and this person is gonna bring you back to life so that's the kind of love is what i see coming next in your life is what i see here wow the silence i feel like you know one of you is going to be the listener and the other one is going to be like the most talkative person that you can ask or think of and i really feel like you know this connection would feel like really 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 um hold on yeah this connection is going to feel like really 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 something which is um which is going to be like um you know i really feel like you know um I feel for majority of you with this card here, it feels like you are going to be like slightly um, tired of trying to find love. But when this person comes in, it's all going to change. And I really feel like, you know, um, maybe right now you really don't see any hope in regards to it as well. But things will change. Situation will change. And you will find that happiness and peace that you're looking for in love for sure so i hope um this is of help and let's try um to pull out some uh tarot cards to find out the sign of this person what could their sign be um to to find out more about this person who's coming next in your love life what could be their sign it could be earth sign for some of you um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I really feel like, you know, this person is going to make you feel very happy. But at the same time, because this is going to be exactly opposite of what you always wanted in your love life, you would have your concerns. Like, you know, am I actually falling in for, you know, falling in for this person or what? So you would have those kinds of concerns is what I see here. But um, yes, you will have that lack of assurity coming from within you would be like i don't know what to do what to do because we do have two of souls this person can be um 22nd born two number could be very significant um maybe when you're about to meet this person you are going to be seeing two to two a lot um i really feel like you know for some of you this person can be an air sign as well let's take last two cards from the tarot ace of cards this person will have the intention to be open and expressive towards you this person can be coming from a distant land like i said earlier with the with the world card here it, it confirms the same message so it can be a water sign as well um pisces scorpio cancer uh, for some of you maybe you are from those signs as well but whoever this person is i really feel like you know, this person is going to be like confusing you a lot with uh with with their actions in in a way where you're gonna feel like i want to go for this person but i don't know if i'm making the right decision or not for some of you you might be indecisive because maybe you will if you choose to marry this person uh, maybe you will have to travel away from where you're living but i really feel like you know this person will have a very um genuine side to them which is going to make you feel like falling in love with this person is so easy but at the same time your your analytical mind is going to come in the way and you're going to be like asking those questions you know shall i shall i not shall i shall i not but ultimately you will so yeah that's what i see coming through for you for this read if it was of help don't forget to like share and subscribe till i do the next read take care bye